So, turns out that we've all been living a lie. Well, I probably exaggerated that a bit, but we've all been, you know, malpracticing, should I call it? Uh, a few months ago, I've been having some issues with my my streaming to Twitch from OBS. Basically, uh, I would have trouble streaming anything over 15,000 kilobytes per second for my bitrate. So I had to switch from streaming to Twitch over to YouTube, where everything seemed to work just fine. So at that point I realized that Twitch was the problem and not my settings. OBS would stream perfectly to YouTube but not to Twitch and XSplit would stream perfectly to YouTube but not to Twitch. So I decided to try, you know, streaming to Twitch once again just yesterday and what I found was that I was still having the same issue. So I posted in Twitch subreddit about my situation and here's what they told me. Streaming to the closest server to you doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the best performance and the best results rather than streaming to somewhere further. What you should be looking for is which server can you constantly and consistently stream the most bitrate to without having drop frames. How can you do that? you might ask well i was asking the same question and it turns out this guy made a small program that would test your connectivity i guess to all the, the various uh twitch servers and on give you a quality rating on which server would be best for you to use in my case i live in the caribbean so streaming to miami would have made more sense but it turns out that after doing the test on the program i got higher quality ratings on chicago and la even New York gave me better quality ratings. So I did switch over to using Chicago or LA instead of using uh, Miami like I originally did because it's closer to me. And I've been getting about two times the results of what I previously got streamed to Miami. I mentioned a program down in the description. It's pretty straightforward on how to use. I don't think that I need to do a tutorial. If you guys are having any difficulties, just go ahead and throw me a, a message in my inbox. I'll be happy to help. Also, the program has a quality rating of anywhere between zero and 100. You're gonna want to aim for 80 or above anything below 80 isn't going to give you the best results i'm speaking from experience so why don't you guys test out this program and you guys let me know what you think comment below tell me if it worked out for you if it improved your performance on your stream don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below for more videos on tutorials and gameplay videos and tips and tricks on how to improve your stream quality in obs or whatever other streaming applications that you might use